I often work in, uh, you have post and pre fader monitoring on Logic. So if I pop that in there, you can see the volume that's pre, uh, pre fader monitoring. That means we are monitoring the signal before it gets to the fader, before it goes out of the side. And the reason I do this is you might notice on a lot of commercial sample packs nowadays, when you drop a sample in, if you look at it on pre, pre fader monitoring, it's actually already in the red. It's already too loud for your channel. So I like to keep an eye on that and I often work in the pre fader metering. So there we go, I'm gonna keep that there. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit because I know, although I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do basic mixing as I go, but I'm not really gonna full, get into mixing as I go because I don't, I don't wanna lose that creative process of just getting stuff written. I don't wanna sit down and do EQs and all that kind of stuff. I'll do that at a later date. I'm in what I call creative mode at the moment. I'm just keeping a rough eye on the levels here because I do know that I don't want my master output to go above 6 dB at the end because that's the level we're gonna need for mastering our record. So I'm just gonna keep a rough eye on that. 